Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is Jason from Casualty Gaming. Uh, we've been offline for a little while and I made some changes. Uh, the first thing I did was I changed the train configuration for uh, Gilbert Stone. We now have two trains running back and forth from the quarry to the construction plant and then one train bringing uh, the, the construction materials from here to Gilbert and then obviously one train forwarding it off to Nashville. Um, we were having, uh, basically because you have to use two different types of train cars, we were having some cars running empty at some point along here all the time. And we were unable to fully use the quarry. So I'm going, I wanted to go ahead and fix that. Uh, the other thing that I did was I added in a passenger line between Gilbert and Nashville. And that seems to be attracting some use, which is great. And I think the passenger train just left, and we still have five more people here. And we've got our buses here in Nashville. That's a little loud. Um, our buses here in Nashville moving along. Um, we also have... So for this game, for today's episode, what I think we're going to try to do is... We have two choices. One, I want to go ahead and run a train line up to Corpus Christi to deliver the construction materials. And I think we'll also go ahead and run a passenger line at the same time. And I think that what we'll be able to do is kind of do a, a split here um, out west of Gilbert and then join up the two lines. So that's what we're going to work on. And we're going to leave the game running such that if I hopefully will continue to earn some money by doing this. All right, so here in, no, oh, we have a new train, still only 43 miles an hour. That's nothing that special. We've got our inner passenger line already set up to run to Nashville. So we're gonna run this outer passenger line up to Corpus Christi. And we'll start here and we'll just cross over like that. And we don't need any of these to be attached at this point I don't think and they wouldn't anyway if they were okay so the second line we need is from over here and that looks great to me and we'll probably need to move these signals and we'll make that a double slip just in case and then over here in Corpus Christi, which wants uh, construction materials and has 135 population, let's see where is everything located. Okay, residential is on this side, commercial is on this side, so I think we are going to cross over at some point. Um, let's see, we're going to run along here, cross over to this side of town, just so that we don't have the... Uh, train station if we can avoid it in the middle of the residential area so our building we're going to make it as a passenger station a little larger we're gonna make it hmm let's say we're gonna run up to Washington as well with our goods but we're also going to want to run we're gonna make Corpus Christi kind of our hub here in the northwest so we're gonna have one two three and four uh, train connections down to Gilbert so Corpus Christi Gilbert's going to be kind of our main thoroughfare and then we'll probably run eventually Gilbert to Bellevue so let's make it a four passenger train station don't have all the money in the world yet but we're going to get there very quickly and so I'm not worried about that yet we'll go ahead and drop that in and then we will also drop in our uh lines for the cargo. At the very least, we'll start with um, one cargo line. I hate it when it does that. Uh, the game really should be a little bit smarter about that, that if you're building a cargo platform starting here, let's make all of them line up. It, it, in fact, it would be nice if they had a way that you could just uh, assemble all of them that way and save yourself a lot of time. 
Um, so that's something for the developers to think about. Okay. Um, so part of this is going to be that we're going to need a road access and we're going to make it large and we're going to make it an electric because I think this is, like I said, this is going to become a new hub for us. So we're going to want to have a, the ability to have a lot of people flowing through here. We're going to go ahead and make the passenger line a little bit bigger and we'll add a cargo stop as well and a street access to that side. And we'll build city streets. And no, we're gonna build it at more of a 90 because I think I'm going to put a tram station in here. Somewhere, tied with the uh, rail lines. So for Corpus, we are going to go around the corner and do a situation kind of like that oh, with our stops being right along here, out here, and over here for now. That's significantly quieter. We'll get two of those for the Corpus Christi tram. And then we'll need a drop off for the construction materials that we're bringing in. Back here sounds good. This will be Corpus Christi construction delivery. And now we need to run the train lines themselves, the tracks. So since we're gonna actually be able to do passenger and uh, freight on this line, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. Do our crossover. Don't know why my mouse is jumping around like that. Sorry, folks. Hmm. All right, what's going on here? Yeah, that's no idea. All right, so our line starts down here and we're gonna to wanna to run it up here and we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make that turn to avoid the farm. And then we're gonna run it southbound along this line. Actually, it looks pretty good. It's a little further away from the road than I would have originally planned it, but I think that'll be just fine. Okay, that's not working. Why is that not working? We'll just do it on smaller segments. That's okay.
And we'll go ahead and make our line crossing here. So that they can run either way. And we'll have the passenger train be the one that waits here. So now let's go ahead and buy our vehicles. We're going to want to use the same type of engine or same speed engine, I suppose is the way I put it, for both of these lines. Um, the China Railway is 50. Might be our best bet. That's 33,000 pounds of tractive effort. Ooh, but it's a lot more expensive. Um, I mean, I'd love to go 71 miles an hour. Let's see what happens if we do this and we do our cargo, which is going to be, well, the cargo can only go 50. Okay, so there's no point in buying a train that goes 71. So we're gonna, oh yeah, and that was super expensive. So we're gonna go with the train that does 47. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, four. <clears throat> four, four cars to start. Not of money, uh, of course not. Let's borrow. Ooh, we may not have enough money to buy this train. Ouch. Okay. Let's look at the passenger train side instead. Ooh, not enough on the passenger side either. Well, actually, let's ditch the Suburban and we'll do the Poodle off because we can't afford at least one of those. And we've already got everything else going. Okay, we had enough for that. And we do again. And we'll send that over to the Gilbert Nashville passenger train since we've already got <clears throat> totally the wrong line because I haven't actually set up the new line yet. Okay, pause the game for one second. New line. Gilbert. Corpus Christi. Or since we're going to try to keep things organized by alphabet let's manage this vehicle and move it to No path. Okay. That's my fault. I really should have made these into um, a standard crossing. That's my fault. Now I'm going to have to go do it and waste some money.
Alright. Why not? Is it still... Ah. Uh, Okay, why not? Now, looks green to me, all the way down. The passenger. We're going from the passenger side over here through this double exchange. Across the track. There we go. <clears throat> Kinda had to force it to go. And hopefully we'll have some people who want to go to Cor Corpus Christi soon. <clears throat> Time to let our bank account take up a little bit more. And this train number three is going to be the last time it's going to run with three cars. It's just too big. The plant doesn't think that Gilbert wants as much stone as it wants and therefore is not producing it. Make it a little faster, make it a little 47 out of 60, you're going to load up all the way. Nope, 47 out of 60, I think both of these trains are also going to lose a car. Can we replace these with something that hauls a little bit more? Yes, absolutely. And I think we'll do the same for Gilbert. Still don't have much sitting out here. They say they're 400 production, but we're not shipping very much. Okay, we got our first passenger airplane. That's interesting. Our 
train line is making money, picking up a lot of people. And we do have some interest in going down to Corpus Christi. That's great. And a lot of interest in going back. That's even better. Before you start loading, let's go ahead and add. Well, actually, let's delete that and add. Can't quite afford that, but can't afford that. Oh, and unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first sign of one of the babies waking up from a nap. We'll see how long we can get away with it without uh, without having to go up there and pick her up. That might not be for very much longer. Well, the life of a dad, a dad gamer, I suppose, uh, revolves around that. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, pause the game here and call it a day for Transport Fever 2. And I hope you guys had a good time. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, um, and I will see you next time.